Here we are in Toy Story Land because we are having lunch at Roundup Rodeo Barbecue. We're looking forward to this. There's a couple things about it that are different than what we would normally do for food. Usually we don't do all you can eats and that's what this is. And I'll show you the menu when we get in there. Um, it's barbecue fair, so you get, uh, four, there are a number of sides. You can choose four of them for the table. And then you get a variety of meats. There is also a um, vegan or vegetarian non-meat option. We'll look at it in there to see if it's vegan or not. Uh, but it's a non-meat option. And um, we're looking forward to it because it's a new restaurant. It only opened, what, a couple months ago? A month ago? Not even, not, even a not, a, not even a couple months ago. And so we were lucky to get a reservation. Although it doesn't seem like people are having that much trouble getting reservations. We didn't have any trouble at all. And so, um, but you know, we got our reservation more than a month ago. So if you're trying to do it on the day of, maybe it'd be harder. Uh, so come and join us uh, at this new restaurant because it's all you can eat. Unless this is the best barbecue we've ever had in our entire lives, this is probably the first and last time we'll go here. But we did want to try it and see what we thought. Here's what the outside looks like. We got called in, but we haven't come, or they haven't came and called us yet. We got our text that it's ready. And they called us action figures. And some other action figures will come out and call our names. But this is what it looks like outside. So just like with the rest of Toy Story, Andy built this all himself. So it's all made of cardboard and he draws stuff and he uses the um, packaging off of items like um, the tri Triceratop pull toy is the now rodeo stunt team and howdy partners. This is pretty cool actually. The waiting area is not very big. You can see how big it is. We just waited across the way over there in the shade. This is all in the sun, at least right now. <laughs> Here's the lobby area. Welcome Radio Fans, and they also have hobby horses for the kids, or adults I suppose if you wanted to, to uh, ride in on. A couple things about the lobby area, I love the tape, quote unquote tape up there. And there's the tape over there is like ripped on the normal way you would like rip cellophane tape. Um, one other thing is that uh, they are, there are restrooms adjacent here. Most sit-down restaurants do have the adjacent restrooms, but just in case you're wondering, you don't have to wander out in the park if you need to go to the restroom. Let's see. Here it is. It's not huge. I mean, this is the only dining room. And, oh, we have a nice corner table. Love it. <laughs> Things happen in here that you're supposed to be a part of. At some point later, we'll have to freeze. Because Andy's coming in, so we're all toys in here, and occasionally things will happen, and then they'll ask you to do, do stuff. Usually just freezing, but you know, play along. But yeah, you can see we're in the corner, so you can see pretty much the entire dining room from here. And here's the menu. Everyone starts out with the cheddar biscuits. And then everybody, and your table gets all of the salads there. The root and toot and tomato, the romaine and kale, and the watermelon salad. And then the uh, food is listed there below. So if you are getting just the platter, it's the smoked ribs, beef brisket, sausage, and barbecue chicken. And then if you wanted the um, vegetarian one, there's a cauliflower, a bratwurst, and a rib chop. And of course, those are all impossible stuff. And then you can get salmon upon request. It doesn't say that it's extra here, so I guess if you just want some. I think it's extra. But it doesn't mention anything extra, but maybe it is. Um, as opposed to like the drinks back here, which tell you that they're extra. And I'm sorry for my shadow, there just isn't a good place where there's not a light right above me. Um, and then we have the reach for the sides. So you get to choose four sides for the table. Potato salad, spuds, veggie slaw, fried pickles, uh, the vegetables, mac and cheese, baked beans and corn on the cob. Then they have some desserts down here. Um, Cheesecake, silk pie, apple pie. They all, they're all like little small servings and they're done in like a um, little like mason, like little mason jars almost. I'll show you when we get one. 
And then on the back, you get a soda with your uh, meal and um, you can get some additional cost items like if you want to get like the cocoa um, or the frozen iced tea. But they also have grown-up drinks there that you can pay extra for if you wish. And then beers and ciders down there. So anything on this menu that we're seeing here and all the choices is $45 a person, which is one of the reasons for adults, which is one of the reasons why we probably will come back here. Not only are we not big all-you-can-eat people because we don't like walking around with all-you-can-eat in this all day long, but it's also kind of expensive. But it's worth a shot one time. One thing I really like about this place is it smells like barbecue. Yeah. Good barbecue places should smell like barbecue when you walk in, and this definitely smells like barbecue. On your table, you have a choice of three different barbecue sauces. There's a spicy one, there's a classic, and there's sweet. Uh, the, I understand the, some of them are kind of thin. Like, let's try it out and see. Yeah, so that's not too bad. That's the spicy, here's the classic. Okay, it's a little browner. and then the sweet, which should have a little bit of brown. Yeah, that's that's definitely the thickest you can see one. It getting browner too. You know what I also love? Look how these plates, they're made of ceramic, but they're meant to look like paper, paper plates, plates, like you're out at a barbecue. Is That is so I cool. I think that is really neat. <laughs> the sauces, the sweet sauce is uh, tastes a lot like if you were just getting Heinz barbecue sauce from the store. Not that I'm complaining about that, that's just what it tastes like. It's the more sweet kind of barbecue sauce that I think Americans are used to, depending on where you are, because we have a lot of different kinds of barbecue sauces in America. Like Kansas City is different than Louisiana barbecue it's sauce, for example. North Carolina. All... And different than North Carolina. The classic is very vinegary. It still tastes barbecue-y, but it's very vinegary. And the spicy is even more vinegary, but it does have a kick to it. So it's more like the classic, but um, but has a, a spice, whatever they've added to it to make it a little bit spicier. They're all good. It all depends on what you want. I would prefer them to be a little less runny because I want them to be able to stick to things. Um, but I'm sure it'll be fine. We haven't actually had any food out here yet to try it on, but we will, and maybe that won't make a difference. Here are the cheddar biscuits with the pepper jelly over there. And there's the uh, Wheezy's watermelon salad, which is watermelon, a little bit of mint. And then... Um, that's the like, like a tomato cucumber yeah, it's a cucumber salad, but it has tomatoes in it as well. And then there's the uh, romaine and kale salad over there with the green goddess dressing. I can't wait to try all of these. It's so interesting. Well, everything is great so far. There's the um, watermelon over there, and the watermelon are plump and they're juicy and they're sweet, which is exactly what you want out of watermelon. <clears throat> The uh, kale salad, uh, kale and romaine is great. It's very traditional salad, right? It's like a Caesar, but the green goddess gives it a really good flavor. It doesn't taste at all like a Caesar dressing. No, 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 no. Yeah, I really like that. And then the uh, cucumber salad over here, which is a, um, it's vinegary, but it's, it's really good. Like I'm not a huge fan of cucumbers. This is gonna sound weird, but when I had COVID in 2020, after I came out of that and my taste buds finally got back to where they were because things tasted weird for a while, I started to like cucumbers where I didn't like them before. I didn't hate them, but I didn't really like them. And so this is pretty good. My favorite is the more traditional salad. I like salads and this is a great example of that. But I do like watermelon, but I don't think of it as a salad. Um, yeah, it's it's a little too sweet for me for like salad stuff, but it, the watermelon is great. And then this is great too. And then the cheddar biscuits are really good. They're um, better with the pepper jelly just because the pepper jelly is so good. And the pepper jelly, don't let that scare you if you don't like spicy things. It's a lot more sweet than it is spicy. I mean, I don't even know if I detect a, even the littlest of a kick, but no. maybe like the tiny, tiniest bit. I don't taste um, yeah, Josh says he's sensitive and doesn't taste a kick to it, but it's a lot more like sweet kind of pepper. Uh, we've had something similar at home. We go to farmer's markets and people make this kind of stuff. Oh, yeah. uh, so we've had that before. The biscuits themselves are, are good. I, like I said, I think they're better with this. Uh, yeah, they don't stand out on their own to me. I would rather have like a Red Lobster Cheddar Bay biscuit, right? But um, they're good still. Like I wouldn't complain about them if I just had the biscuit, um, but they're better with the jelly. <laughs> Whilst we are waiting for our food, I'm gonna do a walk around. So we've got Trixie and uh, Jesse's riding Trixie. And <laughs> I love how Andy's taking a 
Triple R Ranch and turned it into, or it's like a postcard and turned it into his sign. And we've got Zerg being captured by Woody on, sorry, Bullseye. Try to get past some people here. Mercantile School, Sheriff's Office, there's Bo Peep and the Sheep. Cardboard clouds, a puzzle in the background. What looks like another box and some stand-ups that you would get. But yeah, this is it. Like you're looking at this entire restaurant right here. And it's pretty cool. For our four sides, we decided on the potato salad, the coleslaw, the corn, and the fried pickles. There were some others that we were eyeing, like I was having a hard time deciding between the potato salad or the potato barrels, the tater tots. But I had um, some, some tater tots last night as part of a loaded tater tot thing. And so I thought, okay, well that makes my decision for me. I don't want more tater tots today. I mean, I love tater tots, don't get me wrong. And the ones I had last night were amazing. But yeah, like yesterday they were called potato puffs. Sometimes they're potato barrels, sometimes they're tots. It's all the same thing. Potato tots are the real um, yeah, I've seen something online recently. It was like, pardon me, are these tots hand tatered in house? <laughs> Just silly. Anyway, those are the four we got. They haven't arrived yet, but I wanted to let you know which ones we chose. Honestly, we couldn't have gone wrong with any of those. Um, this has been a good start. So yeah, the um, I've seen people eat before. The mac and cheese looks really good. They crumble like um, I think it's some kind of like goldfish crackers on it. Don't quote me on that, but I think they might. Um, and I've seen the vegetables before, but they're just roast vegetables. Oh, our food's here. Here we go. All right, so let me take this out. All right, that way we can see everything. So this is the sausage here curled up on the right. That's gotta be the brisket That's down the there. Brisket. There's chicken. your ribs over here. Chicken. There's the Different chicken. Parts. Yeah. Pepperoncinis. And then some pepperoncinis in there. We also got our sides. There's the potato salad. And it doesn't look as chunky as I was expecting, but it could just be that's how it's scooped out. Um, and then that's fine though, it still looks great. And there is the coleslaw over there. And Josh is gonna have to move the other ones closer. So here's the corn on the cob with the uh, fried pickles. One thing we found out from watching other people's videos is they do not have ranch here. So if you want ranch with your fried pickles, either you're gonna have to bring it in yourself or just enjoy them. Uh, without the ranch. Although people have said they're pretty good even without dipping them in anything. And I suppose you could dip them in one of the barbecue sauces. We're gonna try all of this and let you know what we think. Oh my gosh, this is so much food. <laughs> Billy Goat's Gruff, that's their name. One thing I wanted to comment on is that it's not very loud in here for being kind of a big wide open area. Like, yeah, you can hear people dining, you can hear people talking a little bit, it's very indistinct, but it's not the kind of loud that it would be um, or that it usually is when you have a big open dining area. And I like that quite a bit. Maybe it's different because we're in the corner and there's nobody behind us. So all the sound's coming from one direction. So maybe if I was in there, it would seem louder, but as of right now, it doesn't seem to be too bad. Here are the desserts. Here's like a spoon next to them so you can see how big they are. So they're kind of tiny. So they're not really mason jars. They're mason jar-like, but they're very small. Uh, this is the strawberry peach cobbler. That is the lemon blueberry cheesecake. Lemon blueberry cheesecake. And we're gonna try, each of us are gonna try a little of both. Oh yeah. But they look good. Yes, they do. Um, all of them are like this, except for the forky cookie. Cupcake. Cupcake, which is a chocolate cupcake. And then there's like a sugar cookie forky in it, like the shortbread kind of cookie. Oh yeah, there you go. 
Check out that. That looks like a lemon curd, yeah, sort of a blueberry, and, and then, then there's the cheesecake, cheesecake down below there. And then let's dig into this one, see what it looks like. Ooh. Oh my. Yeah, like apple and yeah, these look great. We're gonna try one. All right, Andy's approaching, so we all have to freeze. I think the freezing thing is really cool, but I feel bad for the servers in case somebody's carrying something heavy and that happens and you just have to stop and freeze. It's part of your job to do so. Um, we didn't see anybody carrying anything heavy, but I'm sure it happens because it's some, you know somewhat randomized. So all of a sudden, you would have to stop and hold and then you're done. Okay, how cool. Josh is having the apple one right now. We, we tried a little of each other's. What did you think of the apple one? Apple peach cobbler. It, it's solid. I'm a big peach guy. I like peaches a lot yeah, every time. Yeah, that's true. So this would normally be what I, I ordered, but I remember because I'm also a big blueberry guy, that the lemon blueberry was, a, was available. Yeah, there's two good. flavors that Josh really likes, blueberries and peaches, peaches and they constant. had both of them represented here. This is good. The cinnamon on the apple is really nice. The peach, I'm sorry, the peach is really nice. The strawberry is a little subtle. I'm not getting as much of a hit of that, which is fine. Yeah, oh, I keep saying apple. It's peach it's and peach, strawberry, yeah. not apple. Me too. No, I'm sorry, I, I apologize. It's but not it's apple. Good. It's a peach this and strawberry cobbler. It's wonderful. Yes. The lemon just pops. The yeah. blueberry has Yeah, it's like a lemon it's curd counter. on the top. It's very it, lemony. It's countered the, the sweetness of the blueberry and the cheese with the lemon. It's very fresh. It feels very, very spring and very upbeat. It, that, that's delicious. This is good. That's delicious. I, I like this better than that, but this one's too sweet for me. Like I could have a couple bites and I was done with it. Whereas with this one, I never got that. Like I don't like the flavor as much. I mean, it's good. Don't get me wrong. That's not what it's about. I'm sweet. sure Woo. people will enjoy it. I just like this flavor better, but it's, um, and I could eat a whole thing of that. I just don't want to because, yeah, plus we've had a whole ton of food, so it makes sense. And they told us at the beginning, I mean, we've seen videos about people eating these, so we knew. They said, let, yeah, you know, you don't have to worry about it. The desserts aren't huge, so you can eat the main courses and then just have a little bit of dessert at the end and not feel like you have to save room for it. And so, oh, get the pepper jelly out of the way. I wouldn't just eat that on its own, although it is pretty delicious. That is pretty good too. They brought us the check. The total amount was, 95.85. 95.85, and that's for two of us. Nothing extra. Right. Um, sodas and drinks, basic yeah, soda and drinks ba are yeah, basic sodas and drinks are included. And then they gave Josh this pen to sign it with, <laughs> which is really awesome. It's like a giant golf or putt putt pen. Yeah, it's, it's like, yeah, it does. It looks sort of like a golf pen. This is absurd, <laughs> and I kind of love it. That's awesome. It's not as easy as you think. No, I don't think it would be easy, actually. I think it'd be kind of hard to write with that. <laughs> <laughs> I feel ridiculous and I love it. We pretty much gave our review of everything as we were eating it, so. Uh, but to close this out, we did enjoy it. Yes. And I'm glad we went there. And we tried a little of everything. That was yeah. Cool. There were some sides that we weren't able to get to because you can only choose four. I mean, honestly, if you'd asked for others, they would have brought them. Um, but but we, we could barely them. get through the ones we had. And we didn't, and that's the thing. For us two people, it's way too much food. Yeah. I feel kind of bad that we couldn't eat it all, but I don't think we'd go back, not because the food wasn't good, um, or that the service was bad or anything oh, no, about that. Good. It's just, you know, we don't, we're not big all-you-can-eat people. I don't like walking around with that much food in my stomach on a hot day in a theme park. Yeah. But good, we did stop ourselves. I feel like we made a pretty good dent in everything. We ate most of the meat. Um, not all of the sides got completely um, done, but there's just so much food there. I'd love to go. If people wanted to go, I would absolutely go. Yeah, like if we came people. here with people, yeah. then I would go with them, sure, again. But if, it's, yeah, but if it's just the two of us, we definitely wouldn't do it again, just because we don't want to have that much food again. But as far as a... Quality of food. Yeah, the quality of food was good. Everything was great. The service was awesome. The atmosphere was incredible. You know, the price was kind of steep, but 
not for a Disney all-you-can-eat restaurant. It's right along the same lines as the rest of them. And um, I what we'd spend even at Teppanetto. Yeah, exactly. It's very, very close to what we'd spend at Teppanetto, which tepanetto. isn't even all you can eat. No. Um, so, <laughs> love our yeah, so I mean, I honestly do recommend it. I know that doesn't sound like a glowing recommendation. But if you like barbecue and you're willing to pay the price or do the all you can eat, you're going to get what you want out of it. Yeah, absolutely. It is worth going to. I think that's great. I would recommend it to everybody. We may never do it again, but that doesn't mean that somebody shouldn't do it.